it seems like the price of the Nvidia RTX 4090 is actually going up and not down. Now there are a couple of caveats here, but the big story I think is something to keep an eye on. First, this is going to be in Europe. I know they get the worst DPU deals. I, I see you guys in the comments. This is going to be the Founders Edition that's getting a bump up in terms of its MSRP, specifically from Nvidia. Now, some of it could kind of be tied to all of the currency fluctuations that we're having, but no other GPU is getting that same price bump. That tells you that Nvidia is a lot more confident in the 4090 going up. If historically, the European market has been a lot different than the US market. I think we know how lucky we are over here that we can go to micro centers and we have different, you know, even Best Buy has found their edition, you know, for 4090s that pop up pretty frequently so we know that the pricing is a lot cheaper here now this could mean something a little bit interesting. First, Nvidia has absolutely no competition for the 4090. There's no other GPU really up on that tier and that level. Obviously, you can argue the AMD 7900 XTX presents some pretty decent value, especially with some of its sale prices that have been in like the $800 range, putting it basically half the price of the 4090. And if you're just after traditional rasterization, you probably would be right. It's not a bad GPU you at all. But Nvidia has a dominating position in terms of the market share in general, very, very dominant. And obviously the 4090 still performs better than the 7900 XTX. And then you add stuff like ray tracing, obviously it's gonna blow everything out of the water. You have DLSS3, whatever you may think of it in certain titles like Cyberpunk Overdrive, you're gonna want a 4090 with DLSS3 at like 4K to have the best experience. And obviously you really Really don't need it i found that even a 4080 like at 1440p and even in some 4k titles that's more than enough to have a really great high-end gaming experience where the 4090 ends up being really overkill in a lot of cases but it does give you more room to do you know little things like maybe up your resolution use different you know different little graphical niceties like ray tracing put everything on ultra even the resolution scale make it over 100 percent that way you can utilize that 4090 even more so these things in total as well as the 4090 is also used in like 3d content creation it's used in some machine learning applications now it's not a data center gpu by any means and big operations aren't using the 4090 in huge numbers like they are with some of the other nvidia data center specific ai gpus but smaller outfits certainly do use the 4090s to do other ai and machine learning tasks as well as to test different things and so it's definitely used more than other gpus i would say after all it does have 24 gigabytes of very fast vram and in general it's just an extreme powerhouse of a gpu so if nvidia feels comfortable raising the price of this gpu even if it's by a little bit it shows that it's not going down what does that mean for the rest of the world and the u.s market well something else i noticed during the recent amazon prime sales that we had many gpus were on sale. I'll give you a really good example. Zotac 4080, which is $1299 originally, was down all the way to $989. So that's a pretty significant discount. Now, as I looked around, I didn't see any 4090s on sale. In fact, I couldn't even find one on Amazon at that sale period that was the original $1599 MSRP. All of the ones that were in stock, and of course there were 4090s in stock, which is better than it was at launch when you couldn't even buy it all of those were at least $16.99 and more, but very rarely will you find a $15.99, $40.90. Even Best Buy's Founders Edition, they don't really come through all that often. But look at that big difference. So we're not finding any sales on 4090s in the US. And in fact, even the base MSRP is hard to find, but we're finding some you know, massive sales on the 4080. Obviously other GPUs got sales as well. Probably the most notable recently is the 4070 that went from like $599 to around $499, even during some of Newegg's sales. So GPUs are definitely getting sales, but it's going to depend on the price bracket and the competition that they're in. Look at these GPUs like the 4070. They have pretty stiff competition from AMD and the 7800 XT, which starts off at $499. Already it's $100 cheaper before sales, 
of the RTX 4070. And then the 4080 obviously is going to compete probably with the 4070 Ti actually. I read something, I forget where it was, where like a lot of users are actually going and buying either a 4070 Ti or a 4090. So they're skipping the 4080 entirely. And from what I've seen over the last year, that makes complete sense. It just seems like you either want to spend less than 800 bucks and still get a very good GPU, aside from some of the VRAM, of course, or you're just going to go crazy for a 4090. People just don't feel like the 4080 is a good value. That's probably why those sales are so big in the 4080. So that shows you that the 4090 is not something that Nvidia needs to discount. Probably will be disappointing to some, as a lot of people were waiting for that GPU to get lower in price. After all, since after all, it's certainly a pretty awesome GPU, but I don't think that's coming anytime soon. We'll see whenever we'll have to see next year as we get closer to the announcement of like a 5090, for example. That will definitely start to put some pressure on the GPUs. But recently, Nvidia has been keeping the last generation around longer than they used to. For example, you can still find RTX 3060s and even 3070s in a lot of retailers that still have a lot of inventory. So will the same hold true for next generation? Still a little bit too early to tell, but we'll certainly keep an eye on it. And let me know if you've seen any cheaper 4090s or have you seen the price go up as well wherever you reside. All right, guys, so remember to subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next video.